the word eshkol means grape cluster. And uh, so the, one of the most famous images from the book of Numbers and from the book of Deuteronomy is this image. And our own Megan designed this image. But the book of Numbers says that the cluster of grapes they found was so large, it took two men to string them across a pole, put it on their shoulders, and carry it back. That's how big the cluster of grapes was. I was in Eshkol not too long ago, but three or four years ago. I was staying at a, a hostel, kind of a, just a cheap B&B type place. I went out back, and I just noticed, just almost dangling from the trees, a cluster of grapes. There in the Valley of Eshkol, and I want to show you this because, first of all, it was a really big cluster of grapes. And I was just shocked because Eshkol is almost a desert. It's, it's semi-arid. It's very close to a desert. And yet here were some of the prettiest grapes you've ever seen still growing there. In fact, not only are they growing there, but there are a number of vineyards down in the area of Eshkol even today. I'm telling you this not because I want you to drink wine. I'm telling you this because I want you to realize the Bible didn't make this stuff up. It's real. In fact, there is a vineyard that produces a wine down in this area of Eshkol that's called the Kadesh Barnea wine, if you can believe it. So the Bible's actually telling a true story. And so every time you see that image of these two guys carrying the grapes, what you're seeing is God's promise. What I'm about to give you is going to be awesome. The blessing of obedience is awesome. Are you following? The blessing of obedience is awesome. The problem, as I said, is that it's also hard. It's hard because everything pushes against us because we're going up the down escalator. It's hard. 